Okay, I'm back. So this is what happens when you go into the PicoScope software. Okay. And normally when it first comes up, channel B and A are both on. I'm only going to want one of them on. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it on manual. I'm going to put it on one volt, I think. It's probably enough. Plus or minus one volt. And I want to be on this times one guy right here. This is a voltage pickup. Okay. And so what we're going to see is, when I start doing this in a second, what, what I expect to see is a somewhat of a sin, sinusoidal curve based on what is happening uh, over here. Now, uh, what I want you to see is I'm going to be spinning, and I'm going to make a video of this piece here too. Okay, so we're recording here, we're recording there. Okay, so the game is, is now we are currently running. So if you want, you can go up here and hit stop. Okay, and then you can go analyze this. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to start spinning the distributor at hopefully a fairly constant rate. Now, it's not real constant. The thing's wobbling around on me. I'm trying to do my best. Now, when I get where I want, I hit stop, and then I can scroll back through the patterns to see what I'm getting. Okay, now again, I was trying to do a really good job. In a perfect world, that pattern would be the same regardless because the engine would be coming at a constant rate of speed. Now, as it speeds up, okay, look what happens. Now we'll start it up again here. We'll go faster this time. As you can see, it goes up. Two things happen. We create a bigger voltage and we change a little bit of the frequency. Okay, and that's just how that thing goes. Okay, so the computer interprets that as, oh, you're going faster, the engine's going faster, and therefore we're doing, some, you know, we can see how fast the engine's turning. Now, uh, I'm going to see if I can do something on this screen of this capture that we got here and see what we think about it. Okay, so I'm going to go back in time, see if I can find a pretty healthy set. And what, what you can do is, uh, oh, where am I at? No, no, no. So what you can do down here is actually go, these, notice these are in milliseconds. They're in milliseconds. So if you come up here and click on that, you can actually put in, um, oh, come on, Jay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. No, you did it back. You did it wrong, stupid. Okay, let's let's see if we can get some more samples here real quick. What I'm hoping to do, what I'd like to do, and I sometimes I go the wrong way the first time, is I'd like to get, that's more better. That's supposed to be the constant rate right there. It's really hard to do this constantly, okay? Once you get your data set, okay, then what you can do is you can go back in and zoom in a little bit, okay? Go back and zoom in. All right, so let's let's just try to zoom in here. Um, I'm gonna try to capture some that are. I guess these are fairly constant. Okay, they're fairly constant. So what I'm gonna do is grab a ruler and they turn on down here. Oops. What you can do is drag this in. So let's say right there. Cool. And then you can actually count over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that would be the eighth one. And you can grab another ruler. Oh, I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's eight. I don't know. I suck at counting. And you can see how much time it was taking. And you could see that Mr. Green was rotating it at 122 RPMs. Okay. And again, that's what's kind of neat about these things. There are a lot of different things you can see. Obviously, in here, I was spinning a lot. You know, I think I was spinning a lot more uh, constant rate. Every time I go around, my finger kind of hit it funny. That's what's going on here. This is not, there's nothing special about the sensor. The sensors, it should give it the exact same pattern. Again, the difference between this and what you'll see on a crank position sensor, let's say on a modern engine without a distributor, 
that will always have an oddball like this because that's how it knows where the crank is. Okay, it has to have an oddball. The distrib this situation doesn't matter at all. It fires the coil. The, the distributor takes care of where that spark is going to go. That's all that matters. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a second.